Howdy, I'm Jack Wheeler, and today we're going to talk about Russians. Uh, Russians are in the news. They're always in the news. Uh, and um, a number of people on To The Point have asked me to tell this particular story. It's a fairly well-known story in Washington, D.C., uh, and believe it or not, it's true. I mean, it sounds ridiculous, but it's true. And it starts in um, the fall, about October, of 1996. 1996, I got a call, I'm living in Washington, D.C., and I advise a number of congressmen on foreign policy issues, and a congressman whom I know very well, a very dear friend, Dana Rohrbacher, who at the time was the chairman of the Asia Subcommittee. He calls me up and says, Wheeler, you got to come to the office this afternoon, there are these Russians. And, okay, okay, okay. So, I drive down and get in the costume, the suit and tie and all that, and drive down the George Washington Parkway, go to the Rayburn Building, get into Dana's office, and there are these Russians. And it turns out it's the deputy mayor of St. Petersburg. And I think, oh, come on, a big deal. I mean, so what? You know, he's not in the Politburo. He's not the mayor of, of the St. He's the deputy mayor of St. Petersburg. All right. So I just sit there and I listen, and so what I normally do is not say anything, and then after the meeting I tell Dana what I thought, who said what, etc. So, the end of the meeting, and Dana is, you know, he's an excitable guy. And he's all excited about, oh, the new era of good feelings with Russia, Boris Yeltsin was president, etc., and we're going to be buddies now, and the Cold War is over, and so let's go have a beer. And the Russians think that's a great idea, beer, that's a great idea. So we go over to this Irish pub on the other side of Capitol Hill, it's called the Irish Times. And we're all sitting there having a pint of Guinness. And I'm sitting there with one of the Russian guys and one of uh, Dana's uh, staffers, a fellow named Paul Behrens, and who's a Marine, by the way. And all of a sudden we notice that the congressman and the deputy mayor have decided to have an arm wrestling match. It's a true story now. And like, who won the Cold War or something? You know? And we're all saying, what the, what? And they sit down, and they go up, and the deputy mayor proceeds to put Dana down, bang! I mean, just like, bang! And Dana, obviously, he's had <laughs> way too much Guinness. So, so Dana stands up, and he's holding his arm, and he looks around very bewildered, and he sees me. He doesn't see the Marine. Barons, he sees me and he says, Wheeler, defend the honor of your country. And I say, Dana, come on, come on, man, I'm, I'm happy, I'm having a beer. And of course, the Russian, he wants to see another American get his butt kicked, right? He says, hey, it's a butters, come on, you know. And, and, and Barons, he says, why not, Jack? And I think, well, what the heck, you know, Cold War wasn't over that long ago. So, so I get up there and I sit across from this guy and he's got this smirk and the smirk kind of ticks me off. But I'm very good at a stupid smile. So it's, it's, it's done me very good all over the world looking stupid. You know, big, big, stupid idiot smile. So I stand there, how do we do this, you know, uh, etc. And, and so off we go. And I mean, he's, he's a little strong, but he's not, you know, that strong, you know. And so go back and forth, back and forth, and I, I put him down. Uh, instantly up goes his left arm. I think, well, I beat you once. Are you sure about that? You know, all right. You know, so, okay, left arm, and down he went. So, I think, well, that was weird. Now I get to have my beer again. No! Oh, no! Up steps the deputy mayor's KGB bodyguard. And this guy's huge! And he's, I am at the time, I'm like 52 or something, 52, 53. And this guy is huge. Big blonde KGB guy, and he goes, ah, my turn, you know. And now he's going to humiliate the American who humiliated his boss. And I think, how did I get into this? So, but at any rate, all right, all right, all right. So <clears throat> I know not to try to beat him. I just know to take his hit. And so I take his hit, and he puts everything he has into it. But somehow I manage it, you know, et cetera, and back and forth and back and forth. And pretty soon he begins to weaken. What do you know? So back, back, and back, back, finally I get him. And then, oh, uh, left arm, you know. All right, all right, all right. So, boom, we just went at it, you know, down, left arm. 
So <clears throat> I thought, God, that was strange. Um, and um, so, but then, the, then uh, a congressman, another congressman was there, his name is Ed Royce. Ed is the, now the chairman of the Foreign Relations Committee right now. But back then, uh, I think it was on the Africa Committee, whatever. At any rate, Ed recalls, because Ed was there, Ed says, when I got up, the uh, deputy mayor poked me in the chest. He stood up and poked me in the chest and he said, CIA. And I looked at him, I poked him back in the chest and said, Kagepad, <laughs> which means KGB. <laughs> so, but at any rate, that's that. Now we fast forward to the year 2000 because we have completely forgotten about this. It was this weird thing. And, and so Dana and I, it's a new Congress, January 2000, new Congress, and I'm briefing Dana on what I'm thinking is going on in the world, and we get around to Russia. And he says, what's going on in Russia, Jack? We're in the Capitol Hill dining room. And, and I say, well, there was just this, and I get about that far, and my face turns white, and he says, Jack, what's, what's the matter? And I said, oh my God, Dana, I just saw this guy's picture in the paper. Dana, do you remember, like, I don't know, four or five years ago? I mean, we were in the, there were these Russians, we were in the Irish Times, it was an arm wrestling thing, you know, it's a, he thinks I'm nuts, he's completely forgotten. And I said, yes, it was a deputy mayor of St. Petersburg and his entourage, and, and you, we all had a beer after the meeting in your office, and we went off, and Royce was there, and other people were there, and we're having a beer, and you decided to have an arm wrestling match, and he kicked your ass, and then, and then I had to arm wrestle him, etc. Do you remember that? And finally it dawns on him. He says, oh, yeah, my arm. He says, do you remember that deputy mayor? He says, no, I just remember my arm. I remember that big KGB guy. That's, I remember that huge KGB guy that you beat. I remember that. I said, well, Dana, that deputy mayor, he just got elected president of Russia. His name is Vladimir Putin. And that's a true story. That is a true story. The whole world thinks that, oh, Putin, Putin, Putin. He's this, you know, super, you know, chess master, etc. cetera. Uh, well, as this being, is being filmed, he's losing, in, uh, losing Ukraine. Um, the world has a song about him, Putin Wilo. Uh, look up Wilo on the internet, H-U-I-L-O. Uh, it's not a complimentary term. Uh, and he's, this guy's not a Superman. And uh, so it's a very interesting story about a kind of a human dimension of Putin that, uh, that not many know about, but it's true. Thanks.